So I recently upgraded to the iPhone 11 Pro Max, and I would say the only difficult part is when I record, it's got three cameras in the back, so I have no idea which one to look at. Someone's gotta help me. Anyways, hello everyone. My name is Denzel Rodriguez, your personal finance geek, as you already know. Hope you're getting used to it. I gotta say it more and more times, cause you know, I'm trying to trademark this thing, the finance geek, like the finance geek. I gotta trademark, I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta own it, right? And then that's gonna help my brand. So you guys can help me out with that. Hashtag the finance geek on any post. Throw it out there, let them know. Velocity banking, infinite banking, kingdom authority, 10X, that's the way to go when it comes to your finances. So without any further ado, let's go. Here we have on the board, I have another wonderful lady that I'm working with. She's a client in my Velocity Banking Annual Membership Program. And here we go. She has income of $4,563.62. Total expenses. Total expenses. This means every and any amount of dollar that you spend per month is your monthly expenses. Let's make sure we're getting the basics down, people. When you ask me questions like, what are your expenses? Any and all things that comes out of your checking account is an expense, okay? If it leaves you, that's an expense. Even if you're giving, tithing, it's an expense to you, something you got to take care of. So it left you, okay? That's an expense. $3,084.86. And the total debt, not that much, 60000 $556.94, so not too bad. Okay, we've got, this consists of 401k loans, student loans, and credit cards. So we're gonna bang this out pretty fast, okay? We have cash flow of 1,478.76. We have a personal line of credit for 15,000 at 10.75%. If you were to do the debt snowball, traditional, old school, old fashioned, you know, what everyone else is doing way. You'll be debt free in about 3.25 years, three and a half, maybe less, give or take. That's simply taking the extra amount of cash flow that you have each and every month and putting it towards your smallest debt one after another till you get to the other till you're debt free, which will be about. 3.25 years, give or take. Whoa. If you're going to do velocity banking, you shall be done in about 16 months. Okay? And I'm going to show you exactly how we do such a task. Okay? Now, here we go. A couple of things I want to mention before I dive into the numbers that's going to help me in my velocity banking path is we have tax returns coming up, a bonus, anywhere from two to four K, and she wants to build a business that will last forever and produce residual income. So with that type of mindset, uh, I just wanna lay that out there. I did not factor it in the numbers here, but you can assume, oh wow, you know, if the numbers say this without that, well then if I threw that in there, then the numbers get better, don't they? Sure they do. So the first chunk, chunk payment that we make from our line of credit, is gonna be $13,002.44. This is to pay off one of the 401k loans that's going to give me a $355 cash flow gain. Not bad at all. Here's what immediately puts me way ahead of debt snowball way ahead of that snowball is the simple fact that with her 401k loans we cannot i repeat we cannot make extra payments if we wanted to pay off the debt in full we'd have to have the full amount so unfortunately if you were to go to debt snowball route you would have to skip your 401k loans and start with the credit cards the credit cards are only going to get her about an 80 six dollar cash flow gain and the credit cards are like she's got about like six six thousand owed on them right 
And after you get done with that, then you have to jump to the student loan. The problem with the student loan is the student loans are $25,000 and the cash flow gain, once it's paid off, is only like 150 bucks from that. And so by the time we get to the 401k loans, they might mostly be paid off by that time. So a couple of options with debt snowballs, either you save the money up to make a chunk payment towards your 401k, or you just do credit card, student loan, then 401k in, in that order. And that's why it would take so much longer because we don't have enough, we don't have initial capital to wipe out the debt that we want to wipe out that would increase my cash flow the highest so I can redirect that cash flow to another debt. All right. So with the personal line of credit, I have the ability to pay off one of the 401k loans in full. Okay. And we did this in September. This person gets paid one time a month at the end of every month. So income at the, I'm counting this for the end of September's income, which is technically going to be used October, during October. So that's how I'm going to be like structuring this out. So income goes in, expenses come out. Notice how the expenses drop immediately after we, uh, you know, wipe out that 401k loan. And here's going to be my balance, 11168 What I did not do in this scenario is I did not include the interest cost of borrowing. I left it for this right here. I assumed that from September to about April, her interest costs will be under 500 bucks. The first month is only going to, only going to cost her about $100 five dollars maybe 110 in interest so every month thereafter is going to be less than a hundred so one two three four five six months six seven months you're looking at about five hundred dollars or less in interest not bad at all for the amount of cash flow gain that i got and by wiping out the debt not bad puts us on a roll okay so velocity banking from mid-september to about April, right? Income goes in, expenses come out. This is all that's going on in these months is money goes in, money comes out. Money goes in, money comes out. Very simple. This is your checking account, except we have initial capital to work with. That's the only difference between that and that is the ability to use other people's money first and then pay yourself back and pay virtually nothing in interest. Okay, that's what we're doing here. That's it. That's it. Um, so by April, I'm going to make a chunk to pay off the credit cards. Then my cash flow is going to go up 86 bucks. So I pay off two credit cards. It's going to be about a 5k chunk. So a much smaller chunk than the first one. The reason why I'm going after the credit cards is because I don't have enough space in the line of credit to wipe out the second 401k loan to get me a $320 cash flow gain. So I just went ahead and said, you know what, let's wipe out the credit cards. My credit scores can go up a little bit. I get a quick 86 gain. And the, the amount of time that it's going to take me to wipe out that is going to be really, really fast. So here's the balance. I included that interest cost over there on that chunk. So the 165 plus 5K plus interest cost from these months brings me somewhere around 5,734.82. Income goes in, expenses come out. This is after May. I mean, this is after April, so May. Uh, balance, balance again after another month. By July or August, by the end of July or end of August, somewhere in between, is going to be my third chunk, which is going to be anywhere from thirteen to fourteen thousand to pay off that second four hundred one k loan, which is going to bring my cash flow to three hundred and twenty dollars plus. Okay, now because it was a four hundred one k loan, it comes out of her paycheck, so her income goes up. The expenses stay the same. Okay, so here's the balance on the personal line of credit, somewhere after July. August, give or take, 
14,000, so income is now 4,884 from the 45. Expenses stay the same. Here's the balance. 11,000 drops to 95, drops to 72, 5,000, $2,796.50. 2, That's January 2021, give or take. So by from July, August to about January 2021, I will be completely done with the credit cards and the 241k loans. Now, if you were to factor this in, this line of credit will definitely be at zero by January 2021. And here's what I'm gonna do now, is I listed some objectives for my client here, is at some point in time during mid 2020 or the end of 2020, we're gonna increase that personal line of credit to 25,000 or higher. I'm going to skip paying off the student loans. So I'm going to so in the velocity banking method here, I'm going to skip making the next chunk towards another debt. I'm going to make my next chunk and transition to the infinite banking concept. So I'm going to make my chunks. I'm going to send it to my tax-free bank. I'm going to establish my life insurance policy. So I'm going to be sending money from the line of credit to my life insurance policy. I'm going to borrow out of the policy and then I can either number one, pay off the student loans to commit to that 16 month time frame where now the debt would get shifted into the life insurance policy. So technically I'm debt free from the institutions. I just have to pay me back and I can choose whenever to pay me back. Because once I have money sitting and growing in the policy, whether I take the money out or not, it always earns money tax-free year after year after year. I never lose the money once it's gone. Once that money passes through and lands in the cash value account, it earns money forever. Okay. So option one is I can uh, use the infinite banking concept with velocity banking to pay off the student loans or because the student loans is not a huge cash flow gain and would take me time to pay off that 25k what i could do is focus on building the business 10x my income and build my kingdom right so she can build her kingdom build the business, create content, help people, 10x the income, and then wipe out the student loans, right? On her own time. Or just keep funding the policy to the max every single year, building it up. And then we can start looking at real estate, partnerships, affiliate partnerships, relationship building, networking, all types of stuff. It doesn't end. Once money's no longer a problem, oh, the possibilities, the opportunities that come your way are endless. It's amazing. It's quite, quite amazing, quite a sight, okay? I recommend it for everyone. So, my name is Denzel Rodriguez. If you enjoyed this video, I hope that you commit to your finances, commit to this new way of being when it comes to your finances and creating financial freedom in your life so that you can break the chains of brokenness, poor mindedness, debt, slavery, just breaking the chains out here, people. You, got, you have to really influence the family, influence the household. If you have a partner, a spouse, son, daughter, mother, father, they're totally against this concept, let them see the numbers, please. Just show them any one of my videos that breaks down the numbers so they can see it for themselves. Sit them down. Hey, listen, I'll bother you one time. Watch a video with me one time. And if you don't like it, I'll never bother you again. Just do, do, just do that to the people that you're trying to share this with because I have so many uh, clients and subscribers, people that send questions in. 
my husband's not on board, my wife's not on board, my girlfriend, my boyfriend, my this, my that. I trust you, Denzel. It's just my family doesn't and they don't know and they don't know about money and they're stubborn and they're this and they're that. Hey, just be like, look, I want to show you something one time. And if you think it's crazy, I will not bother you ever again. I won't ask you for anything when it comes to finances. Got it? Deal? Shake on it? Great. I promise you, they watch that video. It's going to it's gonna it's gonna land and if it doesn't land for them right then and there it's okay keep hold your word do not bring up finances ever again wait for them to do it and you will be utterly surprised when they come around the corner looking for you for help once you've made your success in your own finances they'll be like oh man what was what's Denzel doing wow holy crap I got to hit him up. Oh, you want to talk to me? Okay, here's my fee. Family, here's my fee. You didn't believe in me then? Now you have to pay. Okay? That's how it works. That's how you need to operate in your household. People need to start paying you for your time. Okay? So for those of you trying to build a business out there, trying to be a young entrepreneur, or you're late to the game, or you're midway in it, Listen, your time is so valuable. Do not sell your time to people who are not committed to you. Commit to yourself first, right? Commit to this new way of being that I am successful. I am wealthy. I am. I am, I am because I am. Okay? Do that. Operate in this way of being consistently. Show up the way you want to be so that people can see what could be. So that people can see exactly what could be. It's gonna be powerful. I elaborated a little much on this video, but that's okay, this is my channel, this is how I operate. If you don't like it, hey, it's all right, it's all right. I still love you, I still love you. You know what I mean? This is what I do all day long. Bad comment, ah, I love you. Hate comment, I love you. It's okay, I still love you. Just a nice, you know, I'm blowing wind right now. You know, I'm not hitting no one. I'm just blowing wind. I love you. My name is Denzel, your personal finance geek. Have a wonderful day and God bless.